and they got a contract with Niagara Power Authority mm -hmm. and they buy wholesale hydroelectric power from them and resell it to the to the community. All up, all in, year round is four cents per kilowatt oh, hour. Wow, okay. <laughs> Chilly. And around the corner we have the beauty of destination charging. Wake up to your second day of travel with a full battery, preconditioned car, happy days. So Rochester is up here, Penfield where we're staying right here. Fairport, New York there, so we're headed for breakfast. I-90 runs just south of this. So right here, there's a supercharger, the Victor supercharger, and this shows you kind of an area that is very likely, in my opinion, to get an Electrify America site sometime soon. So the village of Fairport, New York is uh, one of, well, I think the only one at the moment, at least, New York State's model EV communities. Um, that means that it uh, has the uh, third largest number of um, registered electric vehicles. I think it was 263. Behind Ithaca and Pittsford, they are the biggest uh, electric vehicle zip code in New York State, which means they're a good bet to uh, get some stations installed and see how the uh, infrastructure needs to be put together. This area here, so the railroad tracks are right along to the left, mm -hmm. and this area here is where um, uh, they're revitalizing this this old uh, warehouse and factory, oh. and they've got a oh, this they've is your got brewery? iron smoke. This is iron smoke distillery okay. here on the right, and uh, this uh, pretty unique place. It's all decorated in the theme of the the 20s and 30s. It's, mm -hmm. it's really cool inside, mm -hmm. and then right next to it is uh, Trip Hammer which is a little uh, brewery. Okay. Uh, so. Sounds like I have to come back here with my dad. Yeah. He's a uh, big whiskey fan. Okay. Um, I'm, not, I'm more into the breweries, so this would be ideal. So I guess if that is the if that is the one criticism about their, their site selection, uh, and that's Ricky's, where gotcha. we're going to meet for breakfast, mm -hmm. it would be that they, you know, that they grouped them. So it would have been nice if they had picked, like, two in this public right. parking and two right there by the brewery or right. something. But as you say, you get people walking around town. Yeah. Um, it's nice to, yeah. to kind of just take a stroll. Um, I'll pull in here and show you these other chargers. This is Fairport Junction, so they've got six chargers in here as well in the back um, that they just put in. And so those are all, it's a new location and those are new. And this is where, for the Food and Music Festival, they mm -hmm. set up a stage here and have concerts and uh, charging locations there. Six there. Fairport, you mm -hmm. know, uh, port. So a lot of people will recreation boat in the summer. They'll you'll see all kinds of boats tied up here, and they they mm -hmm. overnight. So um, they'll you know they'll dock and uh, you can just walk and look at them. Yeah, so there's a uh, there's the Colonial Bell with docks right here. It's a big uh, a, a big boat, and they do like dinner cruises and kind of part of that is that 
uh, in the early 1900s, they decided to do community power, and they got a contract with uh, Niagara Power Authority, mm -hmm. and they buy wholesale uh, hydroelectric power from them and resell it to the to the community uh, with no with no markup. So we pay anywhere from a third to a half of what most people okay. pay. So all up, all in year round is four cents per kilowatt oh, hour wow, okay. and and in the winter if i use over a thousand kilowatt hours in a month mm -hmm. which i do then it goes up to six cents for everything over a thousand what they call winter electric rates because right. uh, so many people just never put gas or anything in their homes in mm -hmm. the airport and they heat with resistive electric because it was so cheap right so, so up until like even a week ago this was the a legacy ge station yep. and so they did put one of the one of the new EV Connect um, chargers in so that they can meter this one or monitor this one as well. So there was originally two stations here, and I'll pull it in so she can get by me here. Um, and then uh, now six. So and again, all fairly new last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you'd be hard pressed to not find a charger if you're stopping yeah. here. <laughs> yep. tour now we're gonna plug in can't say that I desperately need it but I did burn some electrons with the heater this morning so let's give it a go so these chargers are on the EV connect app it's gonna to be tough to see in this light So find the station, let's see, which one are we here? Let's see where we are. You got your station ID, PC235, download and launch EV Connect app, done. Scan QR code, type in station ID. Okay, PC235. Let's see here, always check the socket, it's new so it should be good. It's already gone. Okay. There's the model X.
well, the tires and wheels are the winter set. They got about 200 miles on it. 55,000? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Is your sales cool. videos going up? <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's rare to find like a thing that you know aligns with my interests and theirs to to do the same thing. Thanks so much. Happy Christmas. Have a good week. Thank you to Dave, uh, Rocky V, and uh, all the folks who came across to Ricky's in Fairport, New York. It's a really nice little town. It just exemplifies the reason that I love coming to these places. It's such a good community. New York State has some great places for level two charging and just communities you really want to explore. Um, they're so pleasant and it's, you know, everyone is into the um, electric vehicles, uh, you know, regardless of brand or the vehicle they drive, everyone just wants to see the more of these things on the road. Five char L2 chargers, just this little village, and um, you know, no DC fast charging all the way out to Waterloo. There's uh, a couple of stations that are inside dealerships that don't typically allow you to charge. I think one of the Chevrolet dealerships uh, will make exceptions, but the Jaguar dealership in uh, Penfield, Rochester, near where we're staying, is in the service department. You can't get access to that. You know, aside from being a little bit off I-90, that's, uh, Rochester has no DC fast charging. This is something that we need to work on, that the area needs to increase its already admirable um, EV adoption rate. And uh, yeah, that's it for the moment. Uh